Hello everybody, this is Aiden and Anne, and... This is another Caden Life Q&A. So recently we, we released a video showing different types of split screens, and I really want to know how to do them. So, can you show me? Sure. Let's load our last demo, I think it was this one, Play with Gavin. And we're just gonna make it all equal length. Actually, we're gonna just take off this as well. The titles is not necessary for this exercise. And I just want to put that there. Okay. So let's make this smaller. Let's make sure this one is uh, 15 seconds long, roughly. This is roughly 30 seconds there. 46, yeah, that's about right. I'm gonna copy it, and I'm just gonna paste it here. Bring it up there. So we haven't covered yet that you can actually do multiple transitions between two clips. So you'll see I'm gonna stack them up all here around this bottom edge. And we're gonna do 14 of them between these two clips to demonstrate the different split screens that you can do. I'm just jumping to the first keyframe here. And that's fine. Let's make that 100. We want to do it full size and zero there on X. And here, opacity. We're gonna make it 50. That. Oh, well, we want to do a linear X for starters. There we go. Let's see what the, the 50 actually does this splits the screen in half there. See what it does when I look around. Okay, let's just go here and remove these keyframes here. Let's see what else is there that needs to be removed as well. So the whole it's the same three out. There we go. And the reason why we want to do that is we want to copy this and start pasting them. Just dragging them up. Now everything should be set already. I'm just going to go to the beginning and then change this to the next one I want to show you, which is a vertical split. Or well, maybe that's a horizontal split, I'm not sure. I mean, it runs horizontally, but it maybe splits vertically. Let's copy that one. Paste another one. Let's look at... Go to the beginning. And you'll see, I'll just leave everything here the same. Um, so we've covered... Linear. Let's do bilinear as well. And you see it's got this strange band in the middle. Effect. Copy that. And now we want to do along the Y. So the opposite of the previous one. This one, every time I go to the only keyframe that's there, there's only that one diamond there, the keyframe right at the beginning. Um, let's look at first. Nice, All right? Okay, copy that. Actually, I can save that step of jumping to the... If I don't move my playline, I don't have to jump to the beginning. See, right now, this is it's not grayed out, so I can just go and change it. So now I want to do checkerboard, which is this one. And let me show you what it looks like. There we go. Copy that. Paste there. Move it up. 
I'll leave it there for now. Now we want to see what cloud looks like. And we gotta move the play line there. Right. And of course if you if you invert then the, can you see what it does? It puts the swaps the two videos basically. So just in case you wanna do that. Um, after cloud, let's do blinds. This one, and it looks like that. Again, inverting might make sense here. Let's see, it just shows different bands of the two videos. Let's copy that. And now we want to do radial bars. This one. And that looks like that. Place there. Just do radial now. And let's put that sort of circle in the middle thing. Could be very useful this one. Let's paste it here. Bring it up. Let's look at square bars. It's actually square two bars to be 100% accurate. There we go. And then you want to look at square two itself. it there. And you can do the same effect with the picture in picture thing that we've done. Or actually various other ways I can think of. And lastly we just wanna copy this one again. And put it there. Probably wanna remove that. Just stay that size. Okay, let's bring this back and bring this back. So that's the whole video. There should be 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 different effects. To, to be fading out, fading to black, fade. From black fade out, fade in, let's do fade to black here. And it's copied the time, that's good. Fade, fade to black, fade out. We need two more fades from black here. And dial it that back to one second. Do a fade in there as well. And then copy that the duration. Let's put our in point around here. Or around here, exactly on there. Right. Do it over again. Yeah. I'll get it. And I'm just pressing I on the keyboard, you see it puts the in point there. Let's zoom out, we put, click anywhere here, we'll put it there. If you click here, obviously you won't, but anywhere past it, it's fine. Put that point there. Let's render it. And let's just call this one split screen. Demo. Everything else is fine. So let the force progressive render. And now we'll just wait for it to be done. Right, so after the whopping render time of six minutes, we're done. We link this video as usual, guys, in this part and uh, have a link in the description. So in that video, Dad taught us how to do different kinds of split screens. 
If you like this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.